Hello YouTube people <coughs> well the people who are likely to listen to this video <coughs> in the last days um, title of this video is it's June the 22nd or 23rd 2016 that is the day, or that is when the hour of the Lord happens. As I think it will be an hour, or it will be within an hour that this thing happens, which will leave us in no doubt that God is real and taking care of things or has made the plan the perfect plan that will take care of things so that's good and why have I suddenly decided I know it's June of 22nd, 23rd, 2016 because I feel it and um, if we look at my last couple of videos especially the California imminent earthquake and um, predicted something that didn't happen It's, um, what I said in that video was, God wants me to do this. And then it kind of didn't happen. And I said imminent. And I suppose a couple of months could be still considered imminent. So there is that. And I think mainly what's happened is my faith has been tested in a sense that I've really had to, because I said in the video, oh, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to have to consider who I'm talking to, who I'm getting feelings from. So, you know, I have done that, but there's so many other things with these feelings that even making a mistake or like say feel like God is testing my faith and that this is still going to happen within a potentially imminent period of two months if it's June 22nd, 23rd 2016 and you know that's not just what I base my decision on. Obviously back in 2013 I was just saying this is it, <laughs> this is happening but you know that was, I was l learning, I was, I was young <laughs> and um, now you know I'm, um, well I was conceived more than 40 years ago so you can say on this planet, I've been here just over 40 years. So, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going on. Right. <clears throat> I've just been, you know, I thought I won't make a video now, I'll wait until I've <laughs> thought everything through and, and I was, you know, I'm thinking everything through, I'm thinking all these arguments. And I'm thinking I should, I should make a video while these arguments are fresh in my mind. So the first one that pops up is the, you know, how many people are predicting this, this time, this end of days, this judgment day. And, you know, we've all been trying to get the date. Everybody wants to know the date. And I think it's, 
I think it's loving to to have a rough idea of when, and we all wanted to know, even since the beginning, when the when this sort of famous prophecies have been made. So, you know, predict a date and the date goes past, but don't give up. Keep going because we know in our bones it's just like, yeah, it's deep. So that's why people keep going with it. And, you know, when you know, you know. So, so that's that. So that's why people don't give up. And if June the 22nd, 23rd comes around and it, it doesn't happen, yes, I'll be questioning myself again. But when something is revealed to you, you've got to warn. And there may only be, you know, could only be 50 people who watch this video and you know before June 22nd 23rd but still I can do what I can do and let God do the rest <laughs> now there are other things of course why it's now um, so first of all, I do believe in this people know stuff. So like we all know deep down in our subconscious if we're able to get there. And some people are more in tune with their subconscious than others. But so these people are driven to to warn and they've things have been revealed to them, dreams, visions, you know, you've got to put some weight in that. And and these people have broken free of the daily rigmarole life of, you know, just work and and shit and money and your house and all the material things. People, you know, when when God has touched someone it breaks through all that. Suddenly, so there's something more important in their life, <laughs> and that's why, that's why it grips them so much, because suddenly it doesn't matter. You don't have to spend your life pursuing material things. There's something bigger there. You know that. You felt it. So even if you don't feel it again for the whole rest of your life, you you still comforted with that knowledge. And that's real knowledge when you something really gets you. So, you know, all these people who make predictions and the time passes, you know, they're just doing what you know, they're not cowards, they're they're putting themselves out there. Now, um you know, last year I there was all this stuff about the September uh, 2015 coming up and and I could feel in my bones that it wasn't then and I kind of picked out the air a bit you know May June 2016 and um, and I and then I did this sort of video where I was feeling from God what was going to happen. And I was like, oh, there's uh, places on the far side of the moon where and, and, and there's got technology and they're going to zap the children out of their schools and some crazy stuff. Cause I, because that I was sort of trying to intellectualise. I was like, why is there no children in this sort of vision of mine? Where's my child? And, and stuff like that. And and I think I was inventing something. I mean, I think there is something going on on the moon, still, on the far side of the moon. So moon the side of the moon we never see. But anyway, I, I, what I saw in my vision, what I can remember, 
Because at the beginning of it, there was a lot of darkness. I saw the Pope and Obama. They're definitely, you know, false prophets and antichrist. And the fact that there's been many false prophets is all the popes, if you like, possibly. Anyway, and then there was a lot of darkness, and there was something poisonous in the air, and and that that's definitely been possible, especially sort of last at the end of last year. And I saw one snow covering, and then this year we only had one light dusting of snow, and that was it, just one. And then a bit later in the vision I saw fire, and then I felt that there was fighting going on. And, um, you know, about a week or so ago, two weeks maybe, I was out walking and exactly in that same place in my dream, a guy was standing in his drive with a big metal bucket having a fire. He looked at me and I was like, alright, alright. And I, you know, and a few seconds later I twigged. Well, that was in my dream too, in my vision too. So I saw the, the, the right amount of snow for the year, the blanket of snow and and this this fire, because I remember in the vision there was sort of like a bonfire. It was right at that same house, but it was just a bit different. There was a fence and they were burning things against the fence. Not in a bucket, but there we, there we go. And it's a strange time to have fire, really. Uh, you, you know, it wasn't like... You know, it was in... Uh, I think it was in May, still. <laughs> anyway, not long ago. So now I'm waiting for the vision bit where I, where I see it coming and my, you know, that end of that leap of that faith, if you like that. You make a leap of faith. <laughs> and, you know, that, that point where yeah, my foot lands. And I'm kind of feeling like I'm almost getting there and I haven't seen anything in the sky, well, apart from... Mars has been getting brighter and brighter, I've been seeing that. But, not what I saw in the vision. But I do feel like my faith is, has been kind of, <coughs> had its test and going through, <laughs> through the test and faith intact. And um, that's good, right? And all the time I've been feeling my soul and things have been feeling good. So it was, it was just, you know, a really, really difficult sort of putting yourself out there. And in a sense, you know, part of me was trying to use other people to see if, if I'm right. I kind of, that's why I also, one of the reasons why I, shared it, you know, I told friends, I told family, I, you know, I wanted to see what the reactions were, and a lot, a lot of them quite positive, and um, some of the comments I've had on my videos, positive too, and so anyway, but I had to get to that point where I had to see, f you know, for myself, um, without any one else sort of encouraging or challenging, you know, just to make sure that when I, you know, when I feel that it is God and it's not, you know, some sort of spirit. <laughs> so, but I've had enough sort of feelings, I've had enough um, improvements and I'd say like, you know, it's not like my garden is just suddenly flourished and there's hummingbirds and <laughs> you know, gorgeous flowers everywhere and fruit that's unheard of and but it's not it's and you know, I haven't suddenly got millions of pounds and just money abundant and you know, just everything perfect and I'm not perfect either yet. But we're all perfect. Have I done that video? <laughs> Have I said that yet? I think that was just after my last video. As far as our soul is concerned, on that level, we're all doing exactly what we're supposed to do. 
we were all putting up with exactly the shit we were supposed to put up with, giving out the shit we were supposed to, put, to, to give out. Of course there'll be repenting that needs to be done, and when you're doing that you're perfect. So you're perfect for the moment. And because it's all God's plan, you know, to say otherwise would to say that God is not omnipotent. He made us. He's, this is God's plan being carried out. So, when your friend or your son or your mother or your partner is doing something, they're doing perfect. And you're doing perfect. It will, it will do what it does. And yes, we are here. And you hear everybody feeling it. We're so close. We are here. At this time. At this hour. The Torah codes are saying 5776. And I did think, you know, maybe, you know, because last year that was a real boost to my faith. Suddenly seeing that, suddenly seeing that I'd made this prediction May, June 2016. And then, or maybe, <laughs> I don't know, it's developed. But this 5776 thing. I can't remember now if I... I have a feeling that that was something that really was like, wow, I've made this sort of prediction and now the Torah codes are saying 5776 and that year started in September and will go on until September 16. And there is, he has found something there with mention of 5777, but it's 5776 loads of places and again I think God this was can say like so God within God's plan is loving to to give us you know preparation and warning so to give warning people would have to have clues people would have to go have something to go on to say it's coming now and okay so it's been since <coughs> I mean in the past as well but since 2011 you know 2012 was coming up <coughs> excuse me this sort of preparation because it's our hearts that need to be prepared mainly because whether you live or die, if you're scared and it's all horrible, then, um, you know, you're not going to be in a good place. Um, so, some preparedness that this day had to come. <laughs> because humans have to learn that that we need God to to go forth and at that point we can then be taught by God we have to know that that is absolutely necessary so God gave us dominion over the world so that we could see what happens to the world when we are the way we are and there's more people on the world now than there's ever been so the effects are exaggerated and the world is going to shit and seems we're supported by the world uh, we can't continue to live unless we um, change and things will be nice again um, <laughs> bit of a tangent I suppose that's kind of leading into another sort of subject God's plan, but it seems that that's what's happening. I mean, the things God has the power over. Um, I'm pretty sure earthquakes are happening more and more because of 
God's plan and if that involves another planetary system coming near ours and doing stuff with the gravity, doing stuff to the sun and that's the way God's done it. There's no way the Illuminati could have done that. And all the fish and whales and sea life that are beaching themselves um, it's potential that it could be caused to man-made effects, but you know what? What so? What could man do so bad that would affect, you know, lakes, uh, all the oceans all over the world? Um, so it's not just the Pacific Ocean where the Fukushima nuclear waste went. You know, it's it's been happening in England and you know so all over the world. This is God's way, because all the animals are God, right? I have to go back to my previous videos if you don't get that. They've all got God's personality. And and they know stuff. <laughs> they're, they're in tune with their subconscious. It's basically God. God's eyes and ears all over the planet. And God's, you know does things with them, especially the insects. <laughs> well, all of them. And so, you know, loads of them beaching themselves, killing themselves like a, a sign. It's calling out, look, mm, this world is fucked. <laughs> you, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna go peak tong, big time. And um, it's gonna change. And so you want to be prepared heart should be prepared so that you don't, you know, just fall over with fear and uh, cower and shake and there's that, you know, stress. Stress isn't helpful, he healthy. It's good to be calm. It's good to be calm. God is calm. I mean, tell yourself, tell yourself that. Ask God how, how he, she is and feel what the answer is. God's always calm. It's always, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if this is the great and terrible day of the Lord, I'm sure um, God may have some sort of, you know, uh, a point where your plan kind of comes into fruition. But that's, that's, it's got to be something to be happy about. And whether in those last couple of weeks um, things quite frantic, or we got nearly three weeks, then you know, make sure this is right, make sure this is right, because it's all going to be so blooming perfect. <laughs> and. Um, I don't need to go through if it doesn't happen stuff. I'm talking quite specific. So we're talking... So I was saying about how God would make sure that 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 there was enough truth left in the Bible that people wouldn't alter this, these parts and it would get through to everyone and people would read them and it would, it would come to them that, you know, that no one would know the day nor the hour day or the hour, not even the son of man. So this is where I feel that, okay, I'm claiming to be this son of man. I, I should know, not the day nor the hour, but roughly. So, <clears throat> 22nd, 23rd. 22, 23 has been in here for a long time. And there's a video I made way back when I thought that 22, 23, like, that, that was the age I was when I met my soulmate. And I thought that was, like, the reason. And I wasn't. <laughs> and even in the video I made, first of all I said 22. And then the second time I said 23. So it can't have been too short. 
And just lately I was thinking, well, maybe it's 2022, 2023, but not know the day nor the hour, not not know the year. So it's not that. And maybe at the time of day, is it going to be at 22, 23, you know, 23 minutes past 10 p.m.? But no, if you're not going to know the day nor the hour, you're not going to know the, the minute. So it must be the day. And sometimes I think, why are dates so important anyway? But I suppose that calendar, the date, it is used by the whole world now, isn't it? The whole world use this calendar date. I know the Jews have their own year count, but I'm sure they they still think it's April the 19th. I don't know, maybe they are on the other one. But most of the world use it, and I'm sure they do use it. I'm sure they know it. <laughs> Laborious, isn't it? Having to so it's hard to, you know, it's hard to get get these things across. <clears throat> so here we go. So I had this feeling, 22, 23, and someone else confirmed it as well, interestingly. And she said it was 22nd, 23rd of May. And I was... I was up for it being 22nd, 23rd of May. Absolutely, you know, I would have welcomed it. Um, that day came and went and wasn't anything. But in my uh, California thing, I said about me feeling about this Wednesday night. And then the Thursday and the Friday and the And like, I had some real strong feelings of that. So I was just out there thinking if it's if the 22nd of June is on a Wednesday and the 23rd on a Thursday so they'd have that Wednesday to Thursday sort of night then and that's it then that's it because in my mind like last few weeks I've been well uh, you know doesn't have, I've, I've, you know, I've booked a plane for some holiday and and stuff like that. And, you know, you make plans like for things. Can't, you know, can't not have a summer holiday. And um, but you know, my mind's thinking, you know, and there's a wedding and twenty third of July, and but I'm thinking. We're gonna get there, and you know that sort of feeling, like so. Anyway, it turns out twenty second of June is a Wednesday, and twenty third is a Thursday, and it's in the Jewish year of five seven seven six. Our calendar year two thousand sixteen. I've had my car, two litre Mondeo, 16 valve, and on the wing is 2016V, and I've had this car for like seven, eight years now. So I always you know, looked at it, like, 2016, most of the time I was thinking, surely I'm not, we're not going to get that far. And you know, when someone talks about 2017 and all the normal plans, and, Oh, it's feeling in my stomach. I think, oh, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be that far. Two hundred sixteen V. What was that with the fifth age? <laughs> Whatever that is. Don't get that one. Aquarius or something. <sighs> yeah, water. I mean, and then you know, I've been thinking. Well, a lot. You know, ages ago, talking about floods and, you know, they're happening. <laughs> I'm right. I might be right. I am right. <laughs> I am right. You know, I'm the son of man. Great. 
quite a weight on the old shoulders, don't you think? And that's, you know, that's partly been getting to me as well. I almost thought, you know, would I give that, would I give it back? Would I say, no, nah. no, nah, actually. <laughs> Can't bother, don't really fancy it. Could you possibly find somebody else to do it? Do you think? So I was like nearly there and <laughs> nearly there. Nearly at that point, like no one. But no. Decide to hang in there. And I'm hanging in there. And I'm now I'm making this dead prediction. Twenty second so you know, right? So you know, you can plan. You can get some shopping in. There's no one else gonna believe it. Things are going to be normal. That's another thing I would say. It's like I've often thought before, you know, oh, it would be gradual. Or the internet will go down first. And, you know, and there'll be, like, rumours on the news. But there's much more in the scripture. It's, it's like, no, this thing's going to be quick. This thing's going to be not expected. So it's not going to be expected by the mass populace. They are going to be, it is going to be a day, you know, which is almost just like any other day. And, and, and it's going to be that hour. It's going to be an hour. And this 22nd to 23rd of June, you know, we've got different time zones around the world. I don't know whose time zone it's going to be on. But there's going to be this hour when it happens. And everyone will see it. And there won't be a doubt. And it's going to... Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Some people are going to be like, Good last. Even though they're going to be scared. Even though they might be faced with not having any food for three months. It, the man, it's going to be, I knew it, I knew it, God has come, this is the best. And there's going to be people who have a, an opposite reaction. So, well, you know, karma, get what goes, what comes around and all that. And I face mine. I, I feel that, you know, I want that, like if this is what I'm doing is wrong then please I'd rather feel this, I'd rather feel it. Give it to me baby, uh huh, uh huh, give it to me baby, uh huh, uh huh. And I have no plans to fly to Israel and stand on the Mount of Olives. No intention of doing that whatsoever. It's probably, you know, parable like. Um, hmm, I think I may have covered what I wanted to say. And the battery is going down. But in case I forgot something, I'm going to have a little think. Have I been clear? Oh. <sighs> Repent. Because when you uh, face God, when you feel the first lick of God, Open yourself up to God. All the bad things you've done will come into your mind first. You'll feel them first. So if you want to do any preparation, start thinking back, you know, have I been a bastard to anyone or lots of people and 
Because at that point, when you're feeling bad, it's like, it feels like you're going to hell or you're falling down an abyss. So then you can get out of the way, make that period shorter. Then you remember your good bits. So you like judge yourself, basically. It just, it just all, it's all clear. That's the sort of preparation that will help. <laughs> and then. Um, Yeah. And uh, I don't know if we're going to be having to eat grass. <laughs> so chew, chew the grass, get the nutrition, and spit out the pulp. But I think at the bottom of the grass, but like sugar cane, you could probably, we well, even sugar cane, you don't. It's nice, sweet, it's like that grass sugar. It's nutritious energy. Um, it will be what it be, and God's plan is perfect. And this video is mainly just to um, give the warning about June 22nd, 23rd, 2016. And also just try and get across that I'm doing this for sincere reasons. Hopefully you look at me and think, well, he, he looks sane. And uh, God's had all this time to, you know, strike him with a bolt of lightning. Or <laughs> and so far, he hasn't done that. And um, just say also that we're all brothers and sisters here. God is our parent. The super soul deals with all of us individually. Loves us all equally. Our souls, that is. And the body you have, you always knew you, it was going to die. And so it doesn't matter if it dies may even get a new one, who knows what God's plan is, and um, it's all good. I think this day has been long, long awaited, 6,000 years long awaited, and I'm sure for those who've been around for a few thousand years have <laughs> had to wait. Yeah. If we're here, we're here. And if we're not, <laughs> I'll make a video and try and explain myself, but I'll be honest. And if I say to myself, well, I obviously got something wrong, I was just getting high every time. And it's not like that. Don't get high every time. Not with natural cannabis. When you're wrong, you're wrong, and you get nothing. When you're on the wrong path, you get nothing. So when you start to hit on those truths, that is the feeling for me. Come on, baby! So, brothers and sisters, we'll have eternity to get to know all each other, and to get to know every one of you. And you're going to get to know every single person. So when you meet a new person, there's no rush. Get to know them. Amazing how different people are. And that's how we'll understand the soul more. Start to understand the personality of your own soul. And then you notice that everyone's soul is different here and there. And, you know, if we're different in looks and appearance, the soul is like, 
so much more than our body. So it's going to have so many more differences. And there's no space or time on the soul dimensions. There's no worry about time. Time never even comes into it.